everyone, this is your 10 minute booty workout. We've got 30 seconds per move and I'll be saying cues throughout. Let's get started. First up, we've got curtsy lunges. Crossing your back leg behind you, keeping your spine nice and tall and drawing your ribs in towards one another. Now I'm not using any weights here, but if you do want an extra challenge, you can grab a dumbbell or any sort of weight to hold during our standing exercises. Now for regular lunges. Make sure your weight is right in the middle between both feet and bend both knees evenly. Also, make sure that front knee doesn't go past those front toes. got squats and right leg lifts. Now make sure your knees are tracking over your toes as you squat and keep your weight into your heels. And really resist as you lift your right leg to the side using your glutes. Keeping your spine long and chest open the whole time. You want to inhale to squat and exhale to raise. All right, switch sides, lifting your left leg this time. Find a wide turned out squat here. We've got three pulses and a single rise. Keep your knees tracking over your toes and spiraling back in space. Now this is different from your average squat. You wanna keep your spine upright and shoulders stacked right over your hips. You're almost there. All right, let's transition down to the floor, coming onto hands and knees. Preparing for glute kickback extensions with your right leg. Use control as you slowly extend your leg with each rep, using your glutes and keeping your hips square the whole time. Always inhale as you bend your knee in and exhale as you extend your leg behind you. Create a flat line down the spine by keeping your ribs and belly in and neck long. In just a few seconds, we'll switch to donkey kick pulses, still with that right leg. Bend your knee, flex your foot, and lead this pulse driving up with your heel. Keep on breathing and really squeeze from under your right glute. And in three, two, one, switch sides. We've got glute kickback extensions on the left side this time. You've got this. Let's inhale to bend and exhale to extend. All right, in three, two, one, donkey pulses. Let's do it. Are we having fun yet? I hope so because we're almost halfway through this workout. Okay, let's lie on our right side with our knees bent and together and head resting on our right hand. 
time for clamshells. With your feet together, raise your left knee towards the sky using your glute muscles. Inhale to lower and exhale to raise. Now watch out that your left hip doesn't roll back behind you. You want to keep it stacked right over your right hip. Up and over toe taps. Now extend your top leg, tapping in front and tapping behind. Create as big of a range of motion as you can with that top leg as you keep your upper body and hips still. Now let's switch to pulses. Keep your core strong as you pulse your left leg up to the sky using resistance. Okay, real quick, let's switch to the other side and go back to our clamshells. In this movement, really think of your upper thigh bone rolling back in your socket here. That should help you connect to your lower glute muscle. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just being attacked by mosquitoes. That is not a part of the exercise. up and over toe taps. Now let's challenge ourselves this time to really gently tap that toe and also resist with control as you bring it up and over. Oh, there come those mosquitoes again. side pulses. Keep on breathing through this exercise, you're doing great. Let's transition onto our backs into a bridge position with our knees bent, feet are hip width, and knees stacked over our heels. Let's lift the hips as we tap and extend one leg and then the other. Now as you're tapping your leg out, don't let that hip drop. Really think about keeping your hips even and in line during this exercise. leg pulses. Let's extend our right leg to the sky, flex our foot, and pulse our hips. Really stay grounded and press into that left heel as you keep your ribs in and lift the hips off the ground using your glutes and your hamstrings. Switching sides, let's lift our left leg and keep the pulses moving. Let's lift those hips higher. I know you can do it. We're so close to being done. You've only got one exercise left after this. Bridge pulses. Now press into your heels and root through your shoulders as we pulse our hips to the sky. Now this is your last exercise, so let's make it count.
Only 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. You did it! All right, workout complete. Thanks so much for joining me today in our 10 minute booty workout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on my Instagram account, Fit by Mick. See you next time.